Hey guys, what's up? Andrew from American Musical Supply here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change or install a drum head. Most of the time when you purchase a drum set, your drums are going to be shipped to you nested inside of each other, partially assembled in a box. So let's go through some of this process. Right here on the table, what I've got laid out for you, I have the shell, and now I have the drum hoop, the tension rods, the drum head, and then my drum key. Okay, so there are a couple of other little parts on the drum set that we want to be uh, aware of, and that are these, those are these things, which are the lug casings. The tension rods actually go into those. And also, nowadays, you're going to see with uh, drums, they're going to come with two heads. It's not the 70s anymore. Uh, so we have a, our resonant head on the, on the bottom here, or the reso side, and then the top, we have the batter side. So we're going to be working with changing the batter head on this drum. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my head, put it on the drum. It's a good idea to do this on a flat surface. Make sure that it's seated. Then I'll take the hoop, line up the holes with the lug casings, and then my tension rods. And they're going to go right through and screw in there just like that. So. The next part of the process, once I get all these tension rods started and, and uh, down, is that I want to make sure that the head is evenly tensioned at all of the lug points. And what that means is that we want to use our ear to try and see if we can get the frequency to be the same across the whole, the whole head. So I'm going to take a moment and uh, get these tension rods started using my drum key. Okay, so now all of these tension rods are pretty much finger tight. So let's hear what this drum head sounds like. It's very dead. It's not resonating really at all. So now I'm gonna tighten each one and I'm gonna go in a pattern across the drum like this. So I'm starting here, going to here, going to here, going to here, then over here, and then here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we're getting there. I'm going to raise the tension even more. I'm going to go around this time. Now you can hear that some of those uh, lug points, some of, some of the points on the drum head are not at, vibrating at the same, uh, same rate. They're not at the same frequency. So you can hear there's about a half step difference there. So what I want to do is I want to try and get these to be the same frequency. So this one, I'm going to raise this a bit closer. Now I'm going to start going across. making adjustments as need, need be. So all the time I'm checking, I'm using my ear and, and now I have the drum head pretty much in tune with itself and we can hear what the drum sounds like. Okay, <clears throat> sounds okay. But now I'm in a good position to fine tune it. It's going to be easier for me to fine tune the drum head now. And because all of my lug points are pretty much in tune with each other, the adjustment is, is very close for each one. I'm still working across the drum head and making sure that the, the tuning stays the same between that. But that's the basic process. So we have a little bit more of an even resonance there and you can fine tune that even the more. But this was just a quick overview on how to install or change a drum head and I hope you found this video helpful.